Hello everyone and welcome to the world of picks. Now today I decided to do a uh, video on picks. Generally speaking, uh, I've been using Dunlop picks uh, for all my life. There's been other kinds, but Dunlop has always been the, uh, my go-to pick. And uh, here today I have a variety of picks. These uh, gray ones here are uh, Dunlops. And they're uh, 77, uh, 0.77 millimeters, and uh, if you can make it out, and 88s, and uh, they're a really adorable pick, long lasting. If you don't lose them, they're going to last forever. Uh, just recently, the past couple of years, I've been introduced to um, to these picks here. They're made by Dunlop, but it's they're called Tortex. And the uh, red ones here are my particular favorites for playing acoustic guitar. And that's a 50 millimeter, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 50 millimeter. And uh, the yellow ones, they're all color coded, of course, just like the, the gray ones, the gray ones, the light ones, the light gray and the dark grays. That's 73. Um, and the orange one is 60. So they used to be gray. You see this one here is a uh, light gray. And uh, that is, I'm not sure. I think it's a, a 70. And here's a light one here. That's a 48. So the lighter they are, the, the, the more flexible they are. And of course, I have to make this demonstration to you. Here is a Dunlop pick, and you can see it's very flexible in all ways. And so are the new ones, the Tortex. They're very flexible. However, just uh, recently, my nephew John, uh, Newfie Boy, 1981, uh, gave me a pack of picks and wanted me to do a video. Now, these are called Alice Picks. And this is uh, something he purchased on eBay, I believe. So I just want to do a demonstration on how these Alice picks are not flexible. Now typically um, when you're playing you use this way. Just so you use your pick. And so as you can see it's very flexible that way. But if you turn it this way, you break. Now is that a bad pick? It's a bad design. What about this one? Alice pick. Let's try a red one. Alice pick. This way here, great. This way here, not so great. Alice pick. Alice pick. There's a pretty colored one. Kind of a wine colored one. And I can continue on uh, with these. Would you like me to? I could go on forever. I mean, you could just snap them with one finger, with one hand, just go like that. But I'm going to save a few of these for other people to demonstrate if they'd like. Uh, they're obviously, you can use them till the cows come home. This way, but not that way. They'll break every shot. And I'm, I'm assuming it's, the, it's the, the green, or whatever it is, of the uh, design. However, not to totally browbeat Alice Picks, obviously, um, this is uh, the Alice Pick breaks. However, there is a nylon one that Alice makes, the Alice Picks makes. And, as you can see, I don't know if you can clearly see that, but it is an Alice pick. And it's flexible this way. It's flexible all the way around. So they do make picks that are functional and they don't break. Uh, but you have to buy the nylon ones. So that's a video of picks. For anybody that might be interested, I hope you did enjoy the video. 
So if you're going to buy picks, I would strongly recommend buying Dunlops, especially the newer types, because they're better color colored. You can actually see the colors better than, obviously, you see this, and this, and this are all gray. And uh, even amongst here, there's a 73, and this is an 88, you see? And you can hardly tell the difference in the color. So I'm glad that Dunlop came up with a uh, a better way of uh, color coding their picks and actually making them feel like a plastic pick, which is they feel thinner, they feel very comfortable in the hand. This is my favorite one, the uh, 50, I believe it is. And um, but they don't break like the other original plastic picks. But if you're going to buy some Alice picks, I definitely recommend buying the nylon ones and stay away from that plastic crap. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.